and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video today we're doing something a little bit different a little bit spicy a little bit crafty so if you're into that feel free to watch the video stick around maybe uh like the video maybe subscribe i don't know it's up to you your decision but uh you should do it so i found this animal crossing art kit art set i don't know whatever i found this on amazon and i thought it would be really interesting to try out it looks like you make some little keychains of some animal crossing characters so that looks super fun and since we're going to be getting crafty getting artsy i i made sure to uh give off an art teacher vibe that's what i was going for with the uh the outfit today so hopefully i succeeded as you can see these are aqua beads so i have never really heard of them um you can only do this if you are four years old or older so if you're not four years old, then bye-bye. And as you can see on the back, it's an officially licensed Nintendo product. So uh, no scamming over here. I'm excited to get into it. I just want to do something crafty. I have been so crafty lately. I have been really getting into clay and I've been crocheting a bunch and like painting all kinds of stuff. So because of that, also my, uh, my fingernails aren't that nice looking right now. So just give me a little pass on that, okay? <laughs> so I think I'm ready to just jump in. So I'm gonna switch you to a uh, overhead camera view and we're just gonna check this out, see what it's all about. All right, so here's the box once again. I mean, I don't know if you can really tell. It's a little beat up on the corners. Up here, it's like dented in, whatever. We're just gonna rip on into it. Oh, I didn't mean to actually rip it, but I just did. I don't know how you're actually supposed to open this. I'm just gonna tear it. I feel bad. All right, so we got a nice little bundle of stuff. I'm just gonna put this eyesore away. All right, so it looks like we have the actual little beads. These literally look like star bits from Mario Galaxy. They are so cute. Also, don't mind the fact that I uh, burned myself while cooking, just ignore that. Okay, so it looks like we have the little things to make keychains, I'm assuming that's what these are. We have the little baby spray bottle. This is so cute. This is so adorable. And then we have all of the little water beads. These are so adorable. So they're all circles except for these two. These don't have smooth edges and these look like the star bits. So that's really interesting. And then this looks like it's gonna be the guides and stuff, I'm assuming. All right, so we got Tom Nook on one side, Isabel on the other side. We got, <laughs> I'm blanking on her name right now. Oh my God, I'll remember in a second. And we got, peanuts i think on the other side wow this is i should be ashamed <laughs> all right and then these are the instructions so it looks like they have some bonus ones you can make timmy and tommy you can make a bell bag some fruits and you can make kk slider and the orville brothers that's so cool it looks like the gist of it is we have to put the little whatever thingy clear thingy on top and then we place the beads spray them with water don't touch it for an hour and then you're good i say let's do my girl isabel first so all we gotta do is put this on top and we have our little template hey that works pretty well i don't know how i'm gonna organize all these beads i didn't really think of that okay i actually have some little mini paint palettes that i'm gonna use to organize the beads hopefully that will be good enough i think this orange is her little ears so we will put the ears in this one. Oh, they don't all fit okay these are from the dollar store they're pretty small it's okay i have more if we actually need more than this so now we'll do the little yellows Okay, and then she has like three red ones for her ribbon, two little pinks for her cheeks and her and her uh, mouth. But I'll get to those once we're done with like the rest, because this is this is already a lot. All right, so starting with the orange for her hair, we got our first bead on. Wow, this is this is so difficult. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? I need like tweezers or something. Ah. <laughs> go stay where you're supposed to stay okay let me see if i have some tweezers that'll work because this is gonna be impossible okay so the only ones i could find were my lash tweezers so i don't know maybe these will work i mean it's better than nothing right oh yeah oh these bad boys work they don't like let go of the ball let go like i'm not even gripping it and this is supposed to be like for kids i can barely even manage this 
how is like five-year-old Susie not gonna get like super frustrated at these stupid balls? This is pretty fun though. I mean like it's frustrating but it's also fun. This is kind of like perler beads I would say. You know where like you put the little tiny objects, you, you put them down on the little plastic grid thing. It's pretty similar. Oh my god, my, my finger is sweaty and they were stick- and they're like sticking to my finger when I pick them up. Okay, now we're getting into the little- Ah! <laughs> now we're getting into the starbit shaped ones. They're very cute. So while I have you here, let's- let's- let's talk about stuff. What's been going on? How's school going? If you're not in school, how's work going? Are you doing okay? This is just like a friendly check-in. How are you feeling about life? Is it treating you well? Is it not going that great? I hope it's going well for you and I hope that you had a good snack today. I had some rice pudding. That was my good snack. Let me know what your good snack was or is going to be in the comments. I would love to hear it. I, l I love talking about snacks. It's just a, it's just a passion of mine, you know? Uh, these- okay, whoever decided that the starbit shaped ones were a good idea, I just want to- I just want to have a discussion because these do not sit next to each other properly. It makes- it makes no sense. It makes no sense because they're so irregularly shaped. They like push each other out of the way. You know, this is actually going by pretty quick. We're already almost getting down to her eyes. And it's only been a couple of minutes. I guess this is like pretty small, so I shouldn't be like too surprised. I also hope they didn't give the exact number of little beads that you need because I've already dropped like two on the floor and I'm not gonna go crawling on the floor to look for them if I need them. Now we get to do the little clear star bit ones, which just look frankly delicious if I'm being honest. They look absolutely scrumptious. All right, now we're moving on to her eyes gonna give her a little bit of a, a soul, you know? They say the eyes are the window to the soul or whatever. She looks a little creepy like this, not gonna lie. I need to put the other beads in for her eyes to make her less, uh, I don't know. Can't think of the word. Soul devouring? By the way, if you would like to buy this for yourself on Amazon, I do have the link down below for you. It is an affiliate link, which means I get a small commission if you do decide to purchase it um, after clicking on that link in the description. So it is a great way to support the channel while also grabbing yourself, you know, a fun little crafty to do on a nice afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's 6 p.m. What the heck? I'm supposed to cook dinner at like 6.30. I promised my boyfriend I'd make him some steaks. And here I am doing Isabel freaking water beads. <laughs> Sorry, aqua beads is the uh, proper term. All right, I gotta go fast. We gotta go speed mode. Okay, I need white and I need pink. I need more colors. Ah, there we go. That looks a little less creepy, I think. Or is it more creepy? Now I can't decide. It looks so cute on the box, so I'm gonna be upset if mine is not as cute. Okay, we got our little blushies. They look so cute. I'm so glad that they gave her little blushies. Gotta go fast. I gotta make steak. We're gonna give her a little mouth. Give her a nice happy smile. Because she's so happy that you're creating her and giving her life. Do you understand? The life is at your fingertips. Just the tips though, nothing else. Okay, that looks... <laughs> That looks very interesting. Let's finish the rest of her muzzle, perhaps. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Honestly, I'm really glad that I got the tweezers. These are really helping. Like, I'm getting the hang of it now and we're chilling, we're going fast. I take back any slander I said about this not being relaxing. This is pretty chill. I'm having a good time. There we go. Now we just need the red for her little hair tie is right here. Right, Isabel? Let's put your hair up. All right, well, there we go. Isabel's done. She looks super cute. So now what we have to do is spray her down with a little bottle. It's so tiny and adorable. I love it. I have some water in preparation, so let me just transfer to the little bottle and we'll be good to go. All right, it's filled with water. I'm gonna twist the cap back on. So now we just spray her down, I guess. I'm kind of scared to do it. I don't know why. Okay, let me get these out of the way because those you definitely don't want to get wet. All right, let's give her a spray. 
I'm just gonna do like a ton of water, like really thorough, cause I want her to be saturated. I want her to be um, moisturized. You know what would have been smart? I should have made some of like the little ones, like on the side, cause I have some, I have some room here on the corners. Dang it. Okay, we'll do that for the next one. I'll make another character and we'll do some of those extra ones. Oh, they're really sticky. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go make dinner and I'll be back. All right, so it's been an hour later, actually over an hour. Um, We had steak and broccoli for dinner and then there was two flies trapped in the vent of our bathroom. It was a whole thing. But anyway, we're back and I hope, hope that this is a good and i'm gonna try to pick it up i'm really scared i honestly feel like i'm gonna break it this little fragile ponytail come on isabel come on i trust you oh we're getting it we're getting it come on girl okay there we go she is off in one piece so yeah she's like pretty flexible you know it's uh i don't know what to describe what to like compare it to I, I can't really think of anything to compare it to and then to apply the little keychain pieces i think i understand how to do it um not 100 percent, but we're gonna try so there's two little pieces as you can see uh this one right here it has like those little like molds for like the beads so that goes down on the beads like like that it goes on the beads and then that should be like sticking out and then i think you just like stick this little pin looking thing through it i don't really know but we're gonna wing it so i think i'm gonna put them i'm gonna put the keychain like on these three little beads so we're gonna try our best i'm gonna wet it again and then I'm just gonna press them down and it like slots right in. So then you just thread this little thingy through it and I'm not quite sure how this contraption works. I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not gonna like mess with it too much because it still needs to dry for another hour. Wait, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I forgot you have to give her her nose. No, what? okay, I knew she looks like a teensy bit off but I couldn't place it, okay. And then her nose goes right up here. There's our completed Isabel with her little nose. Kind of looks a little crooked. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so next I want to do peanuts. And I believe we also have space for the little leaf. So I would love to do these two. All right, I kind of shifted the pattern like up a bit. That way we have a little bit of extra space over on this side to do some of the extra little fruits and stuff like that. I think that'll be so fun. I'm going to get her pink poured out because she uses this very bright pink all right so i'm just gonna start plunging in start up at the ears oh she uses two of those little uh pink star bit looking ones these also look absolutely delicious so uh, our wasp story um i've already told in a video before because literally one time when i was recording a video my boyfriend comes, uh, or no, he doesn't come running in. He sends me a message on our like Google things, our Google homes saying like, Raven, there's a wasp in the bathroom, come help. And like, I dropped everything. Like I was literally in the middle of recording and I just sprinted over there. And sure enough, there was just a wasp chilling in our bathroom. Well, not really chilling, it was flying around, but it was literally so terrifying. Um, it was just, the worst and we were traumatized from it because like a wasp in your bathroom you know like you're not safe like they come through the vent because you know how like some bathrooms they have like a little vent you can turn on you know for like the shower and stuff like they literally are can come in through the vent i don't know how we need to get it like checked out but it's so scary like you never feel safe in the bathroom like imagine not feeling safe in your own bathroom it's it's the worst feeling. So this time I literally, we finished eating dinner and I come back to sit down to continue recording cause like the Isabel was done drying and my boyfriend comes in and he's like, wait, like don't start recording, I need your help. I hear like a bug in the vent again. And I'm like, oh my God, no. So I go with him to the bathroom and sure enough, we hear like buzzing in there and I'm like, oh my God. And, and we keep listening to the buzzing and I go and get like the spray and we keep listening and it's like it sounds like two of them like it literally sounds like two of them and i'm absolutely terrified 
because like one wasp sure like you can keep track of one wasp in a room even if it's like flying around everywhere crazy but two oh my god i just messed this up ah uh, hold on pause but anyways so it sounded like there were two in there i was absolutely terrified because like like i was saying you can keep track of one wasp in a room you know if there's one flying around but two like they could literally corner you and kill you so we have pretty high ceilings and the vent where the bugs were in um like we couldn't reach it because like we were thinking oh we'll just um you know like stick stick the uh the spray up to the vent and spray in the vent and hopefully like suffocate them in there um but the vent is super high and we can't reach it so we were gonna go downstairs to get the step ladder and I stayed and watched the vent <laughs> and my boyfriend goes down the stairs to go get it. He's walking down the stairs and I'm staring at the vent and I see something black coming out of the vent and I scream and I run out of the bathroom, slam the door and I'm like, I saw something coming out. I saw something coming out, I'm scared. So I just, uh, you know, wait outside of the bathroom and my boyfriend comes back with the ladder and I'm like, I saw something coming out and he was like, did it look like a wasp? But I was like, I don't know. I just saw like something black coming out and I just, I just freaking ran. I ran. <laughs> he was like, okay. So we both had a can of spray in our, in our hands. So we both go in prepared and, uh, I gave my boyfriend like a little towel so he could like swat at it just in case. So we go in and we hear the buzzing like they're out of the it's 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 out of the vent whatever it is and we cannot like find where they are in the bathroom like we hear them for sure they're in there they're not in the vent anymore but we couldn't find them and then eventually my boyfriend sees it like in the window so if we just start spraying like crazy we like hit the walls we hit like the shower we sprayed everywhere and Turns out, it was just two really big flies that got into the vent. Just two huge chonkers of flies. And I was like, oh, it's just flies. I can handle flies. I was like, two wasps though? I would not have been able to handle that. No, no thank you. But yeah, it was just two flies and then they tried to get out because they're stupid flies. They tried to get out through the window and they could not. So we just sprayed them at the window and yeah, that was, that was the end of it, but I could have died, so that's the story of how I almost died. Okay, now she needs some brown for her mouth. She is almost done. She's obviously a lot smaller than Isabel, so she's gonna go a little quicker, which is perfectly fine, perfectly fine with me. Did I do it right? I'm like looking, comparing. I mean, I guess I did. She looks a little funny. I don't know what it is. I think it's the mouth. I think the mouth is kind of weird, but... They like didn't have enough space, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust it some more so that I can put the little leaf like literally right next to it. This one is honestly pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna kind of like speed do this one and I will come back to you. <laughs> All right, there we go. That was pretty quick, uh, self-explanatory. And these really look like peas and I kind of just want to like pop one into my mouth and see what it tastes like, but do not eat these. All right, so there's a bunch of little extra ones, Timmy and Tommy and a bunch of fruits. I already have out like the orange and the pink and the reds. So let's try to do some of these, fit these on the little thingy. All right, first I'm gonna work on the peach and I'm just gonna put it like as close up here as I can without having them touching because I don't want them to touch because they're definitely gonna stick. This is also not really a peach color. This is very misleading compared to the picture. The picture has like a baby pink. All right, I honestly thought there wasn't gonna be enough pinks to finish it, but there was, so I'm very happy about that. Next, I'm gonna do the cherries, which look very cute. I'm just gonna put them, I don't know, down here looks good. Okay, there we go, the cherries are done. <laughs> Those are super cute. Okay, and lastly, I have just enough space to squeeze a little fossil into this corner, so, we're gonna do a fossil and then that will be it for this batch and probably for the video. I don't think I'm gonna make all of them as much as I would like to because you have to spray and let it sit for like an hour and that's that's a long time. If I'm rating this, I don't know if I'm rating this, I don't know what this video is actually. This is just me like 
doing these. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be like a review or just like a craft with me or or what. I don't know what we're doing, but hope you're having a good time. But regardless of what this video is, if it was a review and if I was gonna like put out my recommendation or whatever, this is fun. I I really think you have to have like fine motor skills. So like the package is right when it says like not for four year olds. <laughs> And honestly, I think this would be frustrating for younger kids as well. But I definitely think that this requires at least a bit of patience, you know, one to deal with the beads and two to wait an hour in between every single one. It's not like a one and done craft, you know, if you want to use up all the beads in the same day, then you got to wait like a couple of hours because they also don't all fit on this little thing. And I'm sure you can buy a bigger one like perler beads, but is anyone actually gonna do that for just like <laughs> these? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the fossil. I don't know if I was supposed to use these yellow ones, but that's what I think I was supposed to do. So yeah, there we go. We have peanut, we have the leaf, we've got a little peach, we've got some cherries, and we've got a little fossil. So once again, I'm gonna spritz spritz just a whole bunch really get it saturated and if this would spray thank you so yeah we will let these sit and uh do whatever they gotta do and we'll be back so here are the finished little aqua bead projects i think they turned out super cute super adorable and it was a ton of fun making all of them so that is gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i had fun doing little crafts i think these were super duper fun let me know in the comments if you would do them you know would you buy this kit are you gonna buy this kit have you done this kit before they're very interesting <laughs> for sure to say the least um but it was still fun albeit time consuming and a tiny bit frustrating at times but i still had fun and thank you for hanging out with me if you liked the video don't forget to like it and subscribe all that jazz whatever you know i don't have to give you the whole spiel just just do it thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one